Hello, my lovelies. How are you all doing? I hope you're good. I hope you're getting ready for the New Year celebration. I pray for you that the Lord Almighty will keep you alive to see the New Year in good faith, in peace, and everything that gives you joy in Jesus' name. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mercy and you are highly welcome. It's all about simple solutions to issues of life. Life is full of issues, but with God, all things are possible. Okay, I want to make this video based on the comments I receive on my comment section. All right, if today is your first time of clicking on my video, thank you for clicking. Please consider to touch that red button to subscribe, select all, all right? So always get notified from the YouTube whenever I upload a new video. Like, share my video with your friends, with your colleague, okay? Let them follow me up. You will help somebody, all right? Heaven rejoice when you save it so. Save somebody, okay? Now, hmm, marriage issue marriage issue this is not what i want to talk about though hmm. but when i see these comments the lord just spoke to me i said okay let me treat this issue are you married as a woman your husband has left you look at this stage so your husband left you for another woman for or he's dating another woman but he comes home he gives you money your case is to deal with the woman issue extra marital affair are you the type that your husband is having an affair with another woman or he's not even having an affair with another woman but he doesn't take care of you you have to case to solve are you the type that your husband beats you blue black is having another woman he does not take care of you and your children you have three cases to solve are you the type that your husband chases you out of the house and bring in another woman out of the house out to the house sorry and he does not ask after you and your children Hmm. You have four kids to solve. I can go on and go on and go on. So you have to know your own particular area. So you don't think that when you just shoot one, eh, 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 it's supposed to work like that. You know, the, 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 the man went to meet the prophet and say, hey, look at the problem. With that. And the prophet said, take a bow and your arrow shoots. And he shot one two three four five he came back and the prophet said you should have shoots until you finish those your enemies until you have scattered them all right you not just shot you come back and tell me you have shot five times and the prophet stopped there because the prophet does not want to pass the boundary so you don't say i've done this it's not working no you keep on doing until it work Remember, God say, help that man. He say, help him. Help him to come out of that. Marriage is not like about um, having children, companionship and all that. So your duty is to help that man to make heaven. The man to help you to make heaven. If you enter heaven, the man did not go. God will ask you. Because God say, help that man. Alright? So, help him. Don't come and tell me if the man is, is this. No, I just say what I want to say. Now your husband is having a extra marital affair. You want to separate him from that strange woman that has been giving you sleepless nights, that have not allowed you to enjoy the man when you are cold, when you suppose he's supposed to come and perform his uh, duty as a as a man. He is not there, and he has married you and give you that mark, married woman. 
wherever you go. Okay, you'll be doing this. Get one coconut. Get black maca or white chalk. Don't come ask me white chalk again. No, white chalk. Chalk is chalk or black maca. One coconut. Write the name of the man on one side of the coconut. Another side of the coconut. Write the name of the woman. You're going to hold that coconut. You are going to pray. Use Isaiah 49 verse 25. That the, the captive of the mighty shall be delivered. That God should deliver your husband from the captivities of this strange woman. That God should contend with that strange woman. That are contending with your marriage. That God we should contend with every strange human, peace, spiritual, physically, contenting with your marriage, causing you pain. If you can get our own husband, do yes, so then you pray that God should deliver your husband from that strange woman. When you are done praying this prayer on that coconut, you will pray this prayer. Go naked if you can't. Okay. And pray the prayer. You are going to smash that coconut. From outside your house. At your backyard or wherever. You are smashing that coconut in the night. You are making the prayer in the night. You will smash that coconut. With anger. With anger in you, as in, is anything like heavy anger? As in hot temper, with anger in you. As I smash this coconut, I separate you, John, from Siliana, uh, 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 or John, from uh, Juliet. I separate you. Before God and before man and before my guardian angels, I separate this relationship. I take authority as your legal wife and your mother and the mother of your children. And I separate this marriage of relationship to we smash that coconut into pieces with anger, heavy anger in you. If there's an English word like that, you'll be doing this prayer for seven days. <laughs> By the time you scatter the coconuts, if it is possible, do not look back. Just go home. If it is at your backyard of the house, do it. You can turn back and go home. If you have anybody staying with you, that person can come and sweep it and throw it away or the following morning. Okay? You will do that seven days. Now, when you do that, as your husband is returning home, please welcome him. Pretend as if you don't know anything that's happened. In fact, this is like part one. There are numerous steps, but I just want to stop here. Okay, this is part one. I can give you up to part 20. But, like I told you, if it is your own cases on the shallow side, you, you are fighting one. If it's how your case is, is how you'll be digging deep. All right. Now, you can get another one. You can get a sea salt. You're going to get a sea salt. 3 a.m. in the night. With some 35. Get a plain paper. Like this paper now. This one has two names. Like this paper. 
you will write your spouse name you write the strange woman name you're going to put the sea salt at the middle all right Psalm 35 you're going to pray Psalm 35 1 to the end okay 3 a.m in the night you will be calling their name I use this salt to separate you. Okay. Then you just be praying, you get sea salt, and you put the sea salt at the middle of write their name different. I use this sea salt and I divide by the power that divide the red sea. I divide this relationship. I put a separation. Listen to me. You are going to pray this prayer. You are going to call the name I am that I am. The hand that divide the red sea. Okay? The mighty hand of God to intervene in your case. That divide the red sea. To divide this relationship. To separate this relationship. You now put the salt. You use the salt like separate the name your husband name the strange woman name use the salt at the middle you use that sea salt you be just between small small i separate you john from rebecca in the name of jesus by the power of i am that i am the mighty hand of god intervention that divide the rest of i separate you okay you will divide that when you are done doing the prayer, you're going to separate the papers as like this. As like this. You tear the paper separately. You fold the woman's name with salt. You fold the, your husband's name with salt. All right. That salt, you're going to bury it look away and bury the salt separately that is how you'll be using the sea salt separate them so you must know the woman's name her name and her son name if possible you'll be separating them with the salt you will bury the woman's name with the salt can also bury your spouse's name with the salt. You can, but you must bury the woman's name with the salt. So even if you do not bury your spouse, you bury the, the woman's name with the salt. Then the your spouse's name and the salt together, you can use that salt. You can use that. You can dispose it or flush it away in your toilet. So you must bury that woman's name. With the salt. You can also set the room that's the woman's name and the salt in a place. Light it on fire. When it burn, flush the water again. Anything that turns to ashes in the realm of the spirit can never be retrieved. Alright. Thank you for watching. God bless you.